Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. So as I promised you guys, when Rockstar Games released a brand new After Hours DLC, I would be putting together an ultimate money making guide with these brand new nightclubs and warehouses, showing you guys how you could make the most amount of money in the shortest period of time. Now I would have liked to have got this video up earlier, however it just wasn't physically possible for anyone to put together a guide like I am in this video and show you guys every single thing to do with these nightclubs clubs in the period time given as you actually have to physically play the game for over 60 hours which I did go ahead and do just to put this video together for you guys hence the reason I uploaded no videos yesterday so like I said I will be covering every single thing to do with these nightclubs in full detail showing you guys how to deal with the police raids when your business gets attacked how to promote it in the most efficient way but most importantly I'll be fully breaking down how the supplies work and the warehouse and how you guys can make the most amount of money in the shortest period of time so if this video does help you guys out in any way shape or form all i ask is you drop a like down below as this video has also taken me over 60 hours to put together and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos without further ado let's get into the guide Okay, so first things first, you guys will need to go ahead and acquire a nightclub for yourselves. Now these nightclubs do range in price from 1 million all the way up to 1.7 million. Now they are based in all different locations around the map, so if you want to get technical about it, there is no supposed best nightclub. What you actually do probably want to avoid is the cheapest nightclub and the most expensive nightclub as you're going to get a ton of people just buying the most expensive one because they've got a ton of money and at the same time you're also going to get a bunch of players trying to save money by buying the cheapest one so what i would probably suggest is just buy one in a location that suits your gameplay the best so maybe in an area that your office is or you've got another business or your vehicle warehouse just so you guys can always be running two businesses at the same time and just avoid traveling all over the map every time now it is also worth mentioning all of these nightclubs have the exact same layout so don't think by getting a more expensive nightclub you're going to get a bigger nightclub all of them are the exact same size now once you guys buy a nightclub you do get the options to customize it the only customization that is worth noting is the storage because by buying more storage it will allow you guys to actually store more supplies in your business therefore make more money which i will be explaining more about later in the video all of these customizations are just purely aesthetics for the look of the nightclub these are not going to affect your income in any way shape or form the upgrades later down the line will do so which i will explain later in the video so go ahead and customize your nightclub don't worry if you guys haven't got the money at the moment to fully upgrade it you can go back onto the website and buy these upgrades or change any upgrades in the future if need be so once you guys have purchased a nightclub you're ready to get it off the ground now every single nightclub comprises of basically two different buildings you've got the nightclub which is on the main ground floor and then underneath you've got a warehouse so before you guys can do anything you have to head onto your laptop in your nightclub and run two setup missions you have to go ahead and acquire staff and acquire equipment these are very easy and very basic straightforward missions can both be done solo very easily as you can see for the staff mission all you have to do is drive to three locations pick them up and then drop them back at your nightclub as for the equipment mission it's also very easy easy very similar head to a location where there's a party go ahead jump in the bus and bring it back to your nightclub now you've got the equipment and the staff we need to go ahead and get ourselves a dj so to get the dj it's a very straightforward mission once again you go ahead to the lsi pick him up from there you want to make your way all the way to the sandy shores airfield that's where solomon is basically going to land the airplane go ahead pick him up and then bring him back to your nightclub now you can start making money so all in all there's actually three different ways we can make money from our nightclub so the very first way is to actually get online players into your nightclub you can charge an upfront fee for them to enter your nightclub which can go up to a hundred dollars but not only that you guys will also be making money every single time they buy drinks the second way you guys will be able to make money is from your warehouse downstairs and by sourcing and selling supplies which i 
will be going into more detail later on in the video as it's slightly more complicated. And the third way of making money from your nightclub is going to be your nightclub's daily take. Now, how much you guys will make from your nightclub daily will depend on how popular your nightclub is. And there's actually a few different ways that you can actually increase the popularity of your nightclub, which I'll quickly break down now. So the very first way and the most straightforward and basic way is to head onto your laptop in your nightclub and just simply select the promote club option. Now, as soon as you guys click that, you will get greeted with a random promotion mission. Now, these range from a wide variation of things, as you guys can see on screen. One of them will be to fly a blimp around and play music in certain locations. Another one will to go around with a baseball bat and smash up some cars. Another one will to be dropping flyers all over the map. You've got another one to pick up celebrities. But in basic terms, compared to any other like missions that you do for MC businesses or vehicle warehouses, these are extremely easy and simple. Very, very straightforward. Now, the second way that you guys can actually boost the popularity of your nightclub is by taking out other nightclub owners in your free run session whilst they're promoting their nightclub. So as you guys can see right here, I saw this guy trying to promote his nightclub in some white homicine. So that might be another mission that I've yet to do. I simply pull out my explosive sniper, take him out, take out the vehicle and bang, the popularity of my nightclub increases as well as getting like 2000 cash. So unlike before where if you destroyed someone's product from the MC business or the hangar, it was practically pointless. You wouldn't really gain anything. Whereas with this business, it's probably worth going ahead and trying to take them out quickly as it's going to benefit you in the the long run now another way that you guys can promote your nightclub that i've yet to see any single person cover in any guide as you actually have to play the game for a while to unlock this way and it's actually by getting special request jobs from dave as you guys probably know in the intro when you first buy the nightclub you're introduced to a character called dave well at a random point once you guys reach a certain amount of supplies in your nightclub he's actually going to give you guys a call and tell you to go ahead and retrieve one of solomon's vinyl records and an interesting thing about this mission is it's actually optional so you guys have the option to either accept or deny it now of course most of you guys are like me you want to go and help your dj out it's actually a pretty random and different mission compared to the other ones you actually have to go out to a yacht and go ahead and retrieve it from there where there's a party going on so i know for a fact a lot of people have no idea this entire scene or mission is even in the game that's why i tell you guys i like to fully play the game for like a full 60 70 hours before i put these guides together for you guys and not just put out any old crap that a lot of people miss out so of course once you guys go ahead and retrieve the vinyl you bring it back to your nightclub you will increase your popularity but you'll also notice solomon will start complimenting you more when you stand next to him now all of the money made from your nightclub daily take will be put into your safe right opposite your laptop now you do only have a max capacity of 70k and if your nightclub is also at peak popularity so the highest it will only reach 10k for every one gta online day which i believe is around 48 minutes i do have my own feeling rockstar games will be increasing this later down the line when they do release more djs but i'll save that for a different video however moving into the more important part about this money making guide and that is the warehouses and how you guys can make the most amount of money from them and how they actually work so the most important thing worth mentioning is your nightclub warehouse is 100 percent passive income that means that you guys don't have to go ahead and do anything like your vehicle warehouse you have to go and source a car bring it back then find the buyer likewise with your crate warehouses you actually have to pay for the actual supplies and physically collect them this nightclub is nothing like that it is 100 percent passive other than the final sell mission. So just like the existing passive income businesses in the game, like our MC businesses, we're actually gonna be collecting supplies. Now here's where things get a bit technical. We can only go ahead and source supplies for our nightclub warehouse for existing businesses we have in the game. Although the existing businesses are not going to impact your supplies from your nightclub warehouse. So for example, I own a weed farm as an MC president. I can now source weed supplies from my nightclub without having any product or any supplies in my actual weed farm all i need to do is own that business in order to be able to unlock the supplies for my nightclub so in total there's seven different supplies that we can source 
from our nightclub and they are known as different names from our existing businesses although they are related and they are as follows so the printing and copying is the forge documents the organic produce is the weed farm the cash creation is the counterfeit cash the sporting goods is a bunker the pharmaceutical research is the meth lab the cargo and shipments is a ceo in hangar crates and finally the south american imports are a cocaine lockup so like i said by you owning any of your existing businesses whether it be a weed farm a bunker or a cocaine just by you guys owning that business you guys can now source supplies for your nightclub under that category now you yourself are not going to be sourcing these supplies as i mentioned in order to do so you guys will actually have to hire technicians every single person will come with one technician and we can have up to a max of five technicians sourcing supplies at the any given time now it is worth mentioning for every technician you employ will cost you guys extra money so the max amount of supplies that we can get producing at any given time is a choice of five out of a potential seven supplies as you guys can see at the bottom of the screen it says available goods six out of seven that's actually because i don't own the forge documents business so if i wanted to unlock that so i can now source supplies all i have to go ahead and do is simply go ahead and buy that business and then do the setup mission and as you guys can see on screen i now have all seven supplies available for me to source and to source supplies it's very easy all you guys have to do is simply select a technician and simply select a supply and he will go ahead and just continually source that supply until it reaches max capacity as you guys can see on screen i was actually able to get three of these things full up for you guys like i said in the video i have been grinding this extremely hard you could probably tell by my voice it's really on its last legs so once the supplies reach the max limit as you guys can see right here the south american goods i've got 10 out of 10 your technician will stop supplying as there's no space for you to supply anymore so from here like i said that's where it comes into a benefit owning all of the businesses or more because from there you can then assign that technician onto a different product so hopefully that breaks down very clearly how the technicians and the supply system works with these brand new nightclubs now it's time to get into the juicy stuff and how much money you guys are going to be earning of course it is worth mentioning once you guys have collected all of these supplies it is going to be time to sell it off now just like promoting our nightclub we actually have three different ways that we can sell our product so first way is we can sell these supplies individually as you guys can see right here if i was to sell my south american imports by themselves 10 out of 10 i'd receive two hundred thousand dollars minus tony's 10 percent commission which i will explain later in the video however the second method of selling is by meeting the special sell orders that you can see right here i currently already have two unlocked and these are by basically selling a combination of different supplies to match special orders exactly the same way the vehicle warehouse work as i'm sure you guys are aware you can sell low-end cars mid-range cars and high-end cars obviously high-end cars being the more expensive cars and low-end being the more cheaper cars however you can sell them in collections by combining them to receive bonus cash so it's exactly the same way as that if you have a fair few different businesses in the game you're much better off going for these as you will be earning more money by meeting these orders however a massive tip i'm going to give you guys if you are looking to sell in these orders is to actually not dedicate your technicians to trying to meet these orders because these will actually refresh and change every so often so if you dedicate all of your technicians trying to meet a specific contract and then it ends up changing you've just wasted a bunch of time so what you're much better off doing is putting your technicians on the most profitable supplies which i will be talking about in just a second and then you can actually see the grayed out contract which i haven't unlocked you can actually see how many supplies you will need to fulfill that contract so if you're close to unlocking a specific contract then go ahead and change your technicians so for example for the top special order that i've unlocked called the american partners if i had all of the pharmaceutical supplies and all the cargo and shipment supplies and all i needed was the organic product then i could see that i could go ahead and put one of my technicians on that because i know it's not going to take too long to fulfill that contract as i have the majority of it already done so just always look at the contracts see what you guys 
guys have got there and then maybe go ahead and sell while you can now the third and final option of selling is just to sell all of your supplies in one give and go right at the bottom as you guys can see right now mine is estimated just over a million because i've pretty much got a lot of it full but the max you guys can get for a full nightclub is one million six hundred and ninety thousand dollars so whilst that isn't the largest amount of money in the world it is pretty decent for us practically doing no work however let's get into the nitty gritty and how much each supply will earn you guys in the time spent on the game now this is all real life time not gta 5 online time so the cargo and shipments will take 58.3 hours will earn you guys half a million and will take 70 minutes per crate the sporting goods will take a total of 66.6 hours will earn you guys half a million and will take 40 minutes per crate the south american imports will take a total of 20 hours earn you guys two hundred thousand dollars and will take around two hours per crate the pharmaceutical research will take a total of 20 hours and will earn you guys one hundred and seventy thousand dollars and will take 60 minutes per crate and the organic produce will take 26.6 hours will earn you guys one hundred and twenty thousand dollars and will take 20 minutes per crate the cash creation will take a total of 20 hours will earn you guys one hundred and forty thousand dollars and will take 30 minutes per crate and finally the printing and copying will take a total of 15 hours will earn you guys sixty thousand dollars and will take a total of 15 minutes per crate so if you guys are like me and you own every single thing in the game that will total up to around fifty thousand and seventy dollars per hour and if you want to do some very quick maths as i mentioned in the intro this was not a quick process at all filling up my nightclub in all in all it took 66.6 .6 hours so in general you're going to be much better off by just selling all of your supplies through special sell orders and to give you guys a bit more of examples on how much profit you actually make by doing the special sell orders rather than selling them individually this exchange capital order if i was to sell these products individually it would sell for one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars whereas if i'm selling them in one big go i'd be earning an extra profit of five thousand nine hundred if i was to sell this special order right here the import or exports one individually normally i'd only get 63k however by doing it in a special order i'm earning a bonus of 13,600. and if i was to sell this profit weaver enterprise order individually i'd normally be receiving 264,500. whereas by selling them in a special order altogether i'll be earning a bonus 26,450k and there is a ton of these different examples like i said i've been on the game for like over 60 hours so i have come across a ton over the last day or two just keep an eye out for them like i said and you should have no problems and finally moving into the juicy stuff the final part the sale missions and all all of these sale missions it must be said are done in the brand new trucks which i have done a full showcase on individually so they are the mtl pounder custom the mule truck as well as the speedo now it isn't random so don't worry depending on how many crates you guys are actually selling will depend on what truck you guys are given so if you're selling one to up to 120 crates you're going to get the speedo so the smallest one if you do 120 up to 239 crates you're going to get the mule truck so the medium sized truck and if you guys do the full big sale so 240 crates all the way up to 360 crates you're going to be using the mtl pound custom every single time and like i said boys because you're actually using the vehicle to deliver all of them can be done solo in some cases like as you guys can see right here i actually done a special order on the final drop off i actually had to go ahead and protect the client from getting attacked but like I said, it's very, very easy. There's been tons of missions similar to this over the years in GTA 5 Online. Just get some cover. You can either whack down a bunch of sticky bombs or proximity mines on the road that the enemies are coming from pull out a rocket launcher blow them up or just shoot them normally and remember to keep on refueling your snacks because if the associate dies then that is the mission failed you want to make sure that that person never dies even though you have to be a really big noob to let that happen so a few extra things that are worth mentioning that i did come across in my 60 plus hours while grinding this nightclub business 
yes you can get raided by the police guys and when you get busted if you're afk for example and the police come and they raid your property bang you've lost all your supplies and there is nothing you guys can do about it so it is definitely not one to go afk and leave your control pad down because you might come back to regret it believe you me that exact thing happened to me now the final thing worth mentioning which a lot of you guys probably know about if you're in a free run public session with four or more players there is now a new event called business battle which will basically drop random crates around the map and depending what type of supply it is will depend on what type of mission you're given. So in some cases, you actually have to make your way inside of the police station, hack their laptop, then it will show up where the actual location of the supplies are. Now, all of these drops will be equivalent to $10,000 of the in-game supply cash. So for example, the cargo is worth 10,000 per crate, so you will only receive one crate, whereas the organic produce is 1,500 per crate, so you'll receive seven crates. And once again, these business battles take place every 15 minutes in a free roam session with four or more players however that is going to do it for me guys a full money guide breakdown on the brand new nightclubs which came out of the after hours dlc just two days ago hopefully you guys do appreciate me covering every single thing to do with these brand new nightclubs in full detail so you guys are fully clued up and you can make the choice on whether or not you want to buy one it really has taken me a long time to put this video together so all i ask is you return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here feel free to subscribe as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks all for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video peace